everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from maggiescrochet.com and I'm going to show you how to do some of the basic crochet stitches and I'm going to start with a slip knot and then I'll show you how to make a starting chain, a slip stitch, a turning chain, uh, what they mean when they want you to do a single, a double, a half double, the triple, the treble, what I mean, whatever the stitches are. I want to show you from the very beginning all the way through to the end of your um, crochet lessons. I'm going to do um, try to do all of them. So if you want to go ahead and comment and anything that you need help with, just let me know. Um, in the past, I've done some of these videos, but they've been low definition, and now we're able to do them in high def, which makes a big difference. And I'm going to be using this heavy um, type of yarn here called macrame cord and uh, it'll show up really good on the camera and hopefully you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing and then that'll help you out. So all these videos will be in a playlist and you can just start from the very beginning and work all the way through the playlist and I think you'll be a better crocheter after watching these videos. That's my hope anyway. And um, I want to thank you very much for watching and make sure that you like and share and comment on our videos. It really helps us out a lot and also subscribe. And the links to everything are listed below. And let's get started on a close-up lesson. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the shortest stitch there is in crochet, which is the slip stitch. And each stitch goes up in height. So it starts out with a slip stitch is the shortest and then there's the single crochet and then there's a half double crochet then there's a double then there's a half treble and then there's a treble and they can keep going up as tall as you want them to be. Um, but anyway so this is the very shortest stitch that you can do. So what you do is you insert your hook no yarning over or anything. You just insert your hook from front to back through the stitch that you want to slip stitch in. So I'm going to go like this and then I'm going to yarn over in the back and bring that through here and then I'm going to give that a little bit of height here and I'm going to have my pinchers right underneath those two loops and then I'm just going to bring that loop through the loop that's on my hook. That's it. No yarning over at all. So I'm going to insert from front to back. I'm going to yarn over here to bring the loop out. That's it. And then I'm going to bring that loop through the loop that's on my hook. And that's a slip stitch. So insert from front to back. Yarn over. Draw that loop out. Yarn over and draw that through the loop on my hook. And then go in here. Yarn over. Draw a loop out. Bring that loop through the loop that's on my hook. And it just creates a really solid, just like firm chain. A lot of times uh, you can use this on like the um, last round of a hat that goes around your forehead, that goes around your head, and it'll just kind of like tighten up your hat a little bit. So you just insert your hook from front to back, yarn over, draw that loop up and then I move my pinchers right here and I bring that through here. So draw a loop up, go pinchers are over here to stabilize and bring that through and then last one go like this and go like that. So that's a slip stitch. So make sure that you watch all of our how to crochet videos and um, subscribe to our channel, like, share, and comment on our videos and visit maggiescrochet.com. Thank you for watching. And this is the third part um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that. 